Hello and welcome. I'm Chip Colburn, the Technical Assistance and Training Director for the Smart Policing Initiative. The Smart Policing Initiative is a collaborative effort involving the Bureau of Justice Assistance, CNA, national research and policing experts, and over 30 local law enforcement agencies who are building a stronger evidence base regarding the effectiveness of law enforcement tactics and strategies. I'd like to share with you why this initiative is so critical for improving police services in the United States. In the current economy, many law enforcement agencies face difficult decisions regarding personnel layoffs and resource reductions, while the demand for high quality police service and public safety remains. This requires police agencies to be innovative, responsive, and efficient. However, our current knowledge base regarding the effectiveness and cost effectiveness of police tactics and strategies is incomplete. Organizations such as the Center for Evidence-Based Crime Policy at George Mason University have made valuable progress in improving this knowledge base. However, much work remains to be done. The Bureau of Justice Assistance Smart Policing Initiative helps to fill this knowledge gap by testing, evaluating, and documenting evidence-based solutions to crime and public safety problems. Law enforcement agencies and their criminal justice system counterparts are not only educating themselves about smart strategies, they're integrating, operationalizing, and sustaining these strategies through organizational change processes. The Smart Policing Initiative provides training and technical assistance that support a comprehensive approach to organizational innovation and adaptability. Smart Policing matches policing expertise with research expertise to support the advancement and adaptability of police agencies by integrating research and analysis into planning, implementation, and evaluation of police initiatives. The Smart Policing Initiative promotes a comprehensive approach to innovation in policing, demonstrating effective and cost-effective approaches to place-based policing, offender-focused policing, other targeting strategies, innovation and sustainability, collaboration and social marketing, utilization of technology, and much more. Smart policing sites have experienced positive impacts from using these strategies. For example, Baltimore, Maryland implemented a gun offender registry that produced measurable reductions in gun crime in targeted areas. Reno, Nevada uses focused enforcement, public education, and a broad collaboration in its efforts to reduce prescription drug abuse. The Boston Police Department documented significant reductions in violent crime through the implementation and evaluation of safe street teams, a blending of problem and community-oriented policing strategies. And Philadelphia, Pennsylvania launched a department-wide transformation of its approach to crime reduction based on lessons learned from experimental evaluation of different crime-fighting tactics. Through the Smart Policing Initiative, a body of evidence is growing regarding how to achieve results-oriented, sustainable, economically efficient advancements in policing. Please visit the Smart Policing website at www.smartpolicinginitiative.com to learn more about how over 30 law enforcement agencies nationwide are participating in this important initiative. Thank you.